Hello children. Oh, in our previous class, we discussed the polynomial chapter in which remainder theorem and its problems and as well as the exercise problems. Today, I am going to introduce the theorem, another theorem, factor theorem. Need not be true, only we have to discuss the what is the statement involved in the factor theorem. Firstly, I would like to explain the statement, okay. So, factor theorem. You know that already how would you factor the uh, given numbers. In the same way, you should uh, uh, factor, means here factorize the polynomials. So, by using this theorem, okay. Now, take, uh, consider if P of X, what it says first? If P of X is a polynomial, polynomial of degree of degree n, n may be greater than 1 or equal to 1. If it is less than 1, what happen? It is to the power to the x to the power of 0. Please consider variable of polynomial is x. Its power becomes 0 means it becomes 1, it becomes constant polynomial. So, in order to avoid, so that constant value, including all these values, expressions in all, at least powers of degree is n, which is greater than 1. Okay. And a is any real number. A is any real number. Any real number. So that, how you consider this one? P of x and a. A is any real number. Then, then, consider it is one of the value of this polynomial. Then what happen? Then, x minus a is a x minus a x minus a is a factor of factor of p of x okay if if p of x equal to 0 p of a a real value x means instead of x i do a why consider it is any real number then what happens? This value comes to factor, any one value. Consider that is the factor, x minus a. So, consider x value is a, so that automatically x is equal to a means, you, if you take in the left side, what happens? x minus a. So, then it should be represented like this, x minus a is the factor of p of x, if p of a is equal to 0. So, and, and, Consider the second thing. Okay. So, if P of A, P of A is equal to 0, then X minus A is a factor of, is a factor of P of X. Why so? Consider this uh, statement. Remember this is a statement. Okay. Need not be true. Okay. So, only we have to remember the definition or meaning of the statement. Any polynomial P of x, consider the degree is uh, greater than 1 or uh, any number. So, at least n is the power. So, that is why it is equal to 1 or greater than 1 and a is any real number. Then what happens? x minus a is a directly factor of P of x if P of a is equal to 0 or P of a is equal to 0 then x minus a is a one of the factor of p of x. So, this is our um, statement of the factor theorem. Now, how would you apply this theorem uh, to the given polynomials? Consider linear, quadratic and as well as cubic and many polynomials are there. In which what we have to find by using this factor theorem? Yes, we have to show given expression or a polynomial in which first consider their factors is the given factor or factors or of the given polynomial means consider x minus a consider x minus a in order to check in for the for any polynomial consider it is one of the any factor and this is the polynomial is this factor become of this polynomial means x minus a is one of the factor of p of x that should be checked so for verifying the result we have to go for example such examples 
so there are several methods to solve the uh, factor okay polynomials into factors there are several methods you know that already in our previous class we discussed with the remainder theorem so now you know that uh, how to factorize the given polynomials that is splitting splitting the middle term and as well as uh, by using the uh, remainder theorem also division method and as well as identity method so identity method can be discussed in the next classes today i want to check only factor method consider uh, factorize one account factorize y square minus 5y plus 6 by using by using factor theorem okay factor theorem so here sometimes we have to do first the given polynomial can be expressed in the form of factor that is called factorizing okay then how to check uh, whether this is the factor that is by using the factor theorem so both questions are together now check one by one okay solution for this one so you know that how to factorize the given polynomial whether it is linear whether it is quadratic whether it is cubic or any polynomial there are various methods and various tricks are there now i am going to take the splitting method okay consider the polynomial p of x p of x is equal to minus y square minus 5y plus 6 now you already know that the factors of uh, 6 the product of a and c and the b consider the middle value minus b and the product of the last two value is ac here plus here plus plus into plus here. consider it is a consider it is b and it is c so that is one so you know that how to split the middle term here middle term is equal to what is the middle term 5 ok the sign is 5 means b value is equal to minus 5 now look here for ac value what happened is 6 you mean the sum of the any two numbers sum of the any two numbers is equal to minus 5 and the product should be 6 we require two numbers that is in the last two only that is in the given any polynomial whether it is quadratic or cubic consider the last term or constant number of the given polynomial in which try to point their factors you mean that is like this 1 2 3 and 6 what are the factors of 6 1 is one of the factor of 6 2 is one of the factor of 6 3 is also and 6 is also no other terms or numbers by using this only we can take any two numbers which are equal to sum under the product of these two that is how i will take 2 and 3 only these two 2 and 3 so now multiply 2 and 3 2 into 3 is of 6 we require plus 6 and minus 5 for that i will put sign minus consider here plus and minus plus and minus plus and minus plus and minus means these all the factors in terms of integers that is why plus 1 minus 1 plus 2 minus 2 plus 3 minus 3 plus 6 minus 6 so in order to finding the factors the splitting method follows like this ok so firstly take the middle term as b and the product of this one ac ok so here now split by using this one consider this is minus 2x and uh, this one as minus 3x now p of x is equal to y square means here y square keep as it is and uh, minus 2x minus 2x minus 3x plus 6 so that is why take common factor y is a common for these two and for these two so here y y remaining y divided by y squared by y y y plus divided by minus is minus sorry here y it is y y y if, if it is x you can take x here y here also y so that is why 2 2 remains and take minus 3 so minus 3 again y, y minus 2 because minus 2 minus 6 ok plus y remains plus 2 minus 6 minus 3 can divide 6 by 2 so that is why y minus 2 so instead of y you can take x if it is x variable is there you can use x only if it is y you can y if it is t if it is u like that alphabets are used so now take what is the common factor y minus 2 what is the remaining y minus 2 now consider two factors came for the polynomial sorry here y you can take y instead of x 
instead of x, you can take. So, any one, okay. Generally, we have to p of x, that's why it's done only xx. Instead of that, to take y, z, any one. Now, depending upon the polynomial, okay. So, this is p of 1, okay. In which y minus 2 and y minus 3 are the 2, yes. Consider y minus 2 is equal to 0 or y is equal to y minus 3 is equal to 0. It shows us y minus 2 because your p of y is close to 0. Okay. So that is why your y minus 2 is equal to 0 or y minus 3 is equal to 0. Consider there 0 sub polynomial also. So you want to tell me what is the 0 sub polynomial. At what value the polynomial becomes 0. Now consider only y value 2 and y is equal to 3. So just now I get from the factors itself y values are 2. In which, because it is a quadratic equation, so now check, so by using factor theorem, now use the factor theorem, because consider a is a, here n is a number, here a is n is a number, here it is 2, here it is 3, check whether it is a factor of that one, means x minus a is a factor of a given polynomial, like that, y minus 2 and y minus 3 are the factors, yes, that is why, so put these values in the given x. So that is okay y square y square minus 5y plus 6. Put these values, these values. This p of 2 it is equal to 2 square minus 5 into 2 5 into 2 plus 6. Okay. So therefore minus 10 plus 6. So therefore p of 2 is equal to look here plus 10 minus 10 goes to 0, yes. Your p of 2 is equal to 0 means, yes, polynomial becomes 0 means your y value is equal to 2 is the right value for 0 of a polynomial. Hence, if you take this inside, it means left side, it becomes automatically y minus 2. y minus 2 is a factor of the given. Hence, y minus 2. Hence, y minus 2 is a factor of factor of given polynomial given poly now in the same way you can check the next one also i would like to check here only okay. now now p of 3 p of 3 that is 3 square minus 5 into 3 plus 6 that is 9 minus 15 plus 6 that is 9 plus 6 is 15 minus 15 so that is why for p of y or p of 3 values goes to 0. At what value? p of 2 is equal to 0. Here p of p of 3 values is also is equal to 0. So that is why it shows us y minus 3 is also factor of factor of polynomial p of y. If it is x, consider p of x. If it is y, consider p of y. So this is your solutions regarding the uh, first uh, how to factorize and as well as how to apply the factor theorem for the given polynomial. Okay. Next. Now consider the second example. 6x square plus 17x plus 5. Okay. Consider. Now, so here also uh, factorize the given polynomial. Here you should write like this also. That is factorize factorize 6x plus 17x plus 5 by using splitting term splitting mid term ok and verify the factors the obtained factors of the polynomials, factors of the polynomials. That is also okay. Now consider for factorize only okay, by splitting by splitting mid and using the factor theorem also. Now first I would like to factorize this one. What is the given? 6x square plus 17x plus 5. So here it is P of x for some issue. Okay. So consider the given polynomial is like this. Know that already how to factorize. Consider the middle term 
and the last term. What is the sign belongs to here? Here it is plus, here it is plus. So that is why here b means 17 and the last term not only one, here two functions are there, 6 and 5. So this leads to 30. You know that the factors of the 30, okay, factors of the 30, which are those? So you know that 1, okay, 2 is there, 3 is there, 5 is there, okay, 6 is there, okay, and uh, 10 is there, 12 is there, 15 is there, 30. There are so many factors. Means this last term, not only 5, it was 30, that's why it is a 30 because the product of first and last they dividers these are the dividers okay means factor numbers so it means here why i am using that word these numbers are divide this number so that is why these are called as dividers first consider any out of this consider percent minus for all this if it is positive you can take positive if it is negative take negative but both are applied okay so now okay, the condition is like this, sum of, this means it is sum, this means it is product. Take any two divisors, their product should be 30 and the sum should be 70. Which are those? I think there are so many, 10, 10 3's are also comes, but 10 plus 3 is not equal to 70. Okay, take 15 and 2, look over here, 15 and 2, that is 15 comma 2. Take plus plus, because all are plus here. 15 to the 30 plus into plus plus. Okay, here it is plus here it is plus. 15 plus 2 is 70. Plus of plus means we have to add the two given integers. So that is why this is the one of the method of splitting the filter. So how I just uh, split the filter. So I consider the last two terms as AC and the mid term as B. Consider the mid term must be as sum. We should take any two numbers. The sum of the integer must be equal to the sum of the middle term and the product of the given integer is equal to this the last two product of the last two term. So that is why take before going to decide that the two divisors, you should take the divisors of the polynomial of the last term. The last term itself contains the some divisors. But here 5 contains only 1 and 5. Not only this, out of which Six, consider 6 and 5, the product goes to 30, consider their product, their products are written just now, so those are the products. Now, come to the method. So here, 6x square, okay, 6x square, keep as with the first term, second term it should be multiplied, split it, 15x plus 2x, because this can be written as 15x and it can be written as 2x, 2x, okay, so plus, plus power so that is equal to so here there is no here consider their function there is no common factor that is why you can interchange them 6x square plus 2x here it is 2x here it is 2x plus 15x why I interchange it there is no sign changes if you interchange the same term of the same side there is no sign changes that is why so here I want to take 2x because 2x is the least number and 6 is the highest power. So that is what 2, 3x, okay, 3x and plus 1. Consider because 6x square can divide by 2x means 2, 3 is up and x, 1x cancel, 1x there. 2x, 2x cancel plus 1 is Plus 5, take plus 5. So here it is 3x is up because 5, 3 is up and x and it is plus 1. So consider now again the common factor here this one and this one. 3x plus 1 into 2x plus 5. Just now I opened the in terms of the variable x. Just now I got two factors. These are the two factors of the given polynomial. How you consider these are the factors? Yes. So you know that if it is the polynomial become 0, then your one of the factor or both the factors become 0. That is either this factor or this factor for quadratic polynomial. In the same way, find their value x are minus 1 or x equal to minus 1 by 2. Here 2x equal to minus 5 or x equal to minus 1 by 2. So, why I took these x values? Means here two values came at which the given polynomial becomes 0. So, that this given values are considered the factors like 3x plus 1 and 2x plus 5 or factors of the given polynomial. So, by using the 
by using factor theta. Factor theta. So that is why you can take now. So one put uh, these values minus one by three. Okay. X is equal to minus one by three in the given equation. That is six x square plus seventeen x plus five. So that is six into minus consider it bracket minus one by three plus five plus seventeen into minus one by three plus five. So that is equal to six into one by nine. One by nine plus minus seventeen by three plus five because it is a negative integer. Consider the next uh, simplification. We do the this is the two by three minus seventeen by three plus five. Consider the denominator for LCM. What happens in LCM? Three, three, one. Their LCM should be one by uh, sorry three. Why I took the LCM in order to simplification for the given fractions. Okay. So that is why for rational number or any real number. So three and divide three. So one left one two the two. Minus. There is minus sign here. Three three cancel one left minus nine. Okay. Plus here so that you can put plus one can divide three as three. So the three into five is fifty. So now simplify two minus fifty seventeen plus fifty means seventeen minus seventeen divided by three divided by three. So that is seventeen minus seventeen cancel. So what is the remainder? Hence the given value this or this factor means three out of six. Now I will explain like this. Okay. Consider the number is like this. Therefore, three x plus one is a factor. Factor of p of x. Or you can write like this also. Consider according to the value x minus x equal to one minus minus one by three. It is known as three x. It cross multiply three x. Same as this, it comes same. So that is why it can 3x plus 1 is the factor of because we obtain this factor from the splitting the middle. Now check the second one. Suppose you require okay p of minus 1 minus 5 by 2. It is equal to 6x square minus 6 of minus 5 by 2 whole square. Okay, next to plus of 17 minus 5 by 2 plus of 5. Okay, that is equal to six of minus five square means twenty five divided by four. Okay, plus minus eighty five divided by two because seventy five is eighty five. So plus five, it is integer. Now consider two three is a two two is a. Therefore twenty five two is a fifty divided by two minus eighty five divided by two plus five. Consider their denominator or taking LCM. LCM become one because you consider LCM and LCM by using the uh, factor method in which the term of any whether numerator or denominator if they are repeated, you can take directly as LCM. Okay, so that is two. So here two, two can divide two by one. One into fifty is one, so it is one. So that is and minus eighty five. The two two cancel one is left therefore one into twenty five and here one two the two two five the ten okay so here six remember two two the here two three the sorry two three the it becomes twenty five yes twenty five twenty five into twenty five that's why so here this minus so twenty five plus ten is eighty five minus eighty five so divided by two it is equal to zero because eighty five eighty five get cancel so here Therefore, your value if uh, x equal to minus five by two is nothing but x plus five by two is a factor of factor of p of x is a factor of p of x like that. What I done there the same way x plus here. So here why it is x plus five by two because I shift this one to this side. Otherwise here you can take minus five by two to this side to become x plus five. So here we return two x plus five and three x plus five. What is the difference? There is no difference at all. So we can uh, interchange it by, like this. It happens like this: two x because it is two x plus five. If you change it, two into two x, multiply. What is the remainder? Minus five. Minus five comes to this side. It 
can become 2a plus 5. Same equations as compared to the uh, using factor theorem and as a splitting filter, the factors are same. It means their values at any value, consider a over k real numbers in which the given values uh, leads to the polynomial become 0. Hence, the polynomial become 0 means they are the uh, points of the given polynomial in such a way that so consider their factors like this, these are the factors of the given polynomial. So, this is the simple solutions. So, dear students, in this class we learned that is uh, what is uh, factor theorem and uh, problems based on this. Uh, so, that is only quadratic uh, polynomial set of proof as an example. In the next class, I uh, will explain the cubic polynomials, uh, how to split and how to factorize the cubic polynomials also so by using factor theorem. Thank you.